Hi folks, welcome to Greg's Workshop. I'm Greg and today we're going to be continuing our tool holder series with a tool holder for my Milwaukee M18 trim router. So in keeping with the other tool holders I built, I'm trying to get everything all into one. The tool, the accessories, room for a battery, everything. So we've got the router, it's going to have the uh, vacuum adapter on there. We've got the second larger base plate. We've got the edge guide. Uh, this attaches to the router here. Uh, then you can adjust this for, for depth uh, so you can play or uh, route along the edge of a board. And of course, the two wrenches. So my concept for this is to have the router like so. I'm gonna have a shelf underneath for this. Underneath that will be a shelf for this. And then we'll have some holders in the back for the wrenches. I'm going to start by using the track saw to cut a piece of plywood. Next, we'll use the table saw to trim it down to width. Last, we'll cut off the piece that we're going to use to make both sides. So this is going to be the two side pieces. You can see right here, that is going to be the bottom accessory shelf, the top accessory shelf, and then above that, we're going to have a half inch shelf to hold the router itself. I want to route, uh, cut dados all the way down here. A few different ways I could do it. I could do it on the table saw with a regular blade and a dado or a dado blade. Uh, I could do it with the router, the router table. I don't really want to spend a lot of time setting stuff up, so I'm going to be using just the regular table saw blade, just, you know, an eighth inch, three sixteenths of an inch up. Uh, that should give us just enough room. To cut a dado with a regular table saw blade, you first set the fence so that the saw blade will cut along one edge of the dado. Then you move it over a little bit less than a blade width, run it through again, and keep going until you have your full dado. have all my shelf dados cut. Next step, cut this in half, that'll give us our two side pieces. I intentionally left this piece just a little bit too wide so I could be sure that both sides were the same width and have just that little bit of off cut at the end. Using the tried and true Type Bond 3 and brad nails to fasten together. So my basic carcass is built. Time to get the shelves cut. I'm going to measure back here. This is not proper woodworking. I should have put in a rabbit in here and then it would hide that and whatever. But this is going to be up against the wall. It's not a big deal. Um, so I'm just going to use these uh, to get the proper measurement for the width for the shelves. If I were to measure out here, these could flex a little bit, be off a little bit. So I want to make sure that it's accurate. Instead of using glue, I'm just using a few brads to tack this shelf in place. The last two shelves are just going to slide in. This bottom slot's a little tight. I probably should have made another pass, but uh, I think it'll work fine. Here it is. Got the extra base plate, got the edge guide. Got the router, got the dust cover. Still need to do the wrenches. Let's cut out these two little pieces. They're gonna glue and nail right back in here. The wrenches will drop in from the top.
And there you have it, another tool holder. Looks about the same as the others. It's very functional. Uh, I like the, the clean look of the, of the MDO. It's, it's very nice. I think I only have one more tool holder to make. Uh, it's going to be for the random orbit sander. That's going to be a little bit more involved, a lot more shelves, uh, just so that I can store the different grits. Probably be pretty tall too. We'll save that one for another episode. Folks, if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notified of new videos every Saturday morning, leave a comment or question down below, and I'll see you next week on Greg's Workshop.